I want to say along with groups C and D, this is um, the most difficult group to predict. Um, I want to analyze this a little bit further. This is group H, which is Poland, Senegal, Colombia, and Japan. And I thought of a good name. <laughs> it's group H, H for headache. Get that, get that trending down below in the comments. Hashtag H for headache. Because that's exactly what this group is going to be between now and <clears throat> when it comes time to play the matches. It's going to be really hard to predict this, this group because I could see a case for any two teams coming through. And like I said, it's only one of two or three groups in the World Cup that are very hard to call. Uh, so I want to analyze it a little bit more. So you have Poland, right? Poland, who qualified for the first time in 12 years. They're looking pretty good at the moment. Um, Robert Lewandowski, Arkady Ushmilik, uh, I think Blaszczykowski still plays in midfield. Poland is still probably after Russia, probably the worst of the seeded teams, again, after Russia. And if you didn't get Russia, you wanted to get Poland. That's just how it is. Poland also showed a little bit of inconsistency in qualifying when they thrashed teams like, um, who did they beat? I think they beat Armenia like 5-1 or something. And then they lost to Denmark 4-0. Now, Denmark themselves being a good team, but seeded teams, the best seven or eight teams in the world, do not lose to third-tier sides like Denmark 4-0. So there's a little bit of vulnerability there, in my opinion. And there's a whole question of once you, once you neutralize Lewandowski, you're cutting off a really, really important supply of their goal scoring, their attacking prowess. And I think teams that are more tactically smart, that line up uh, more pragmatically against Poland, can shut them down. Poland should be considered slight favorites to come out of this group, but... I could honestly see a case for them being one of the few seeded teams, maybe the only seeded team that doesn't advance. Because this is a really interesting group, I have to say. Colombia, I don't know if I said this before, but Colombia is a team that they're not as good as they were four years ago. They finished in fourth in South American qualifying. They still have the core of the same players that they did four years ago, same manager. Um, but we, it's most likely now that, in contrast to four years ago, El Tigre, Radamel Falcao will be at this World Cup, which is a big boost for them. James Rodriguez doing really well with Bayern at the moment. I actually consider Colombia favorites to win this group, not just advance, but to actually win this group. I think they should win this group. I don't think they're going to go on a run as, as they did four years ago to the quarterfinals. They might, but they're, they still have enough to, in my opinion, be considered the best team in this group. And I do think Colombia is the best team in this group. Um. <clears throat> Senegal, I mean, Sadio Mane, Keita Balde, Koulibaly, coached by Ali Sisu, the, the, one of the players from the 2002 quarterfinal run, um, arguably one of the best African teams in the world. My opinion right now, I think they're about the second or third best team in Africa. Um, really, really talented individuals. They had a really difficult qualifying group. But at the end of the day, they qual they qualified pretty comfortably. Um, they have some really good playmakers here. 
And I look at Sadio Mane, what he is doing for Liverpool this season, along with Mohamed Salah. And Senegal, Senegal can pull another France 2002 because they play Poland in that opening match. I, I, Poland being not the strongest of the seeded teams. I could see Senegal getting a, uh, a shock victory in that opener, uh, much as they did in the opener against France, which was also the opening match of that entire World Cup back in 2002 in South Korea and Japan. Speaking of Japan, Japan is in this group, and the Samurai Blue will be looking to get back to the knockout rounds. I think Japan is a better team now than they were four years ago, in contrast to Colombia. And it's interesting that Japan and Colombia will be meeting again in this group, because four years ago, Colombia and Japan were in the same group. Colombia dismantled them 4-1. to one. Now they meet each other in both of their respective opening fixtures in this group. And I looked back in history in the last four or five World Cups, teams that met each other again in two consecutive World Cups in a row to see if the result was ever the, the exact same. And in most cases... They're not the same. Actually, in all cases, the same result did not happen. Meaning if Team A beat Team B in 2002, and they're in the same group again in 2006, Team A did not beat Team B again. It was a different result. Maybe it was a draw, or maybe Team B won. There have been same results repeated for teams that have met in the same World Cup group stages in non-consecutive World Cups in the last 20 or so years uh, where the results were the same. But most of them, even then, uh, again, I'm talking about non-consecutive World Cups, even then, uh, the, the, the majority of the time, the result was different. Um, so there you have it. Japan... I think is better coached this time around. Their manager is Vahid Halil Hadzic, the same guy who brought Algeria to uh, the round of 16 unexpectedly back in 2014 in Brazil. Um, that was also in Group H, so maybe Halil Hadzic, this will turn out to be Group H for Halil Hadzic. Uh, I think he's a great manager. I, I follow Japan in the Asian qualification zone. I thought that they're still not playing to their full potential, but I do think that they're more technical than they were for uh, in the last World Cup. Japan has always been a side that always relied on its technical ability and its tactical approach to the game. They don't have very many players who are um, strong in physical stature, because, I mean, that's just how it works biologically. So they're a little bit weak on set pieces, height disadvantage. But I watched a lot of their games and a lot of their highlights in qualifying, particularly against Australia and Saudi Arabia. And there's a lot of skill on this team. Kagawa, uh, Idaguchi, Shukarata, um, Asano, Yamaguchi, uh, even Kasuke Honda is still in there. I remember he had a really great World Cup back in 2010. So there's a lot of really good uh, individual talent on this team. And watching Japan play, it's hard to describe. It's hard to put into words. They play just the, the, the flow to their game is very organized. It's very fluid. Uh, if I had to describe the passing, the technical uh, approach that Japan plays uh, when they're at their best, it's very tactical. It's very fluid a very fluid uh, approach. And the way they pass is like, it's like silk. It's like smooth. And I really like it. I like it. And, and a lot of them play like really good uh, dribbling skills. A lot of them have really good dribbling skills. Um, go watch some videos from their training sessions. I think that will put it into better context than what I'm describing. But I think Japan's in with a, a really good shot in this group because... You know, they avoided 
Germany, Argentina, Brazil, Portugal, Spain, even uh, France. And they got a, a relatively navigable group. And if history is to serve as a um, as a, a, a reminding statistic, they're most likely going to get some kind of result with Colombia because, you know, like, like that statistic I just highlighted, teams usually don't lose to the same team uh, when they're drawn into the same group. Remember that specifically for two World Cups in a row. So how do I think this group is going to finish? Um, well, I think Senegal could, could, be, could play spoiler. I think that Senegal is hard to predict because they've been away for so long. This is their first World Cup in 16 years. I haven't really watched much of them in qualifying, so it's, it's a little bit difficult for, um, to, to, to say how they're going to do. But I do think Colombia will come out of this group. Uh, my my original prediction was Poland and Japan to come out. I do think Colombia will come out. I don't know if they'll win it, but I think they should be slight favorites to, to, to win it right ahead of Poland. Um, I just think maybe tournament experience will cost Senegal here because this is mostly a younger core group of players. Um, they just played the first international tournament tournament in the African Cup of Nations. Probably should have won that tournament, but got knocked out way earlier than they should have. Um, I think it's maybe one tournament a little bit. I think it's one tournament too soon for Senegal. Uh, I think the inexperience will probably be their undoing. So I don't think Senegal will go through. I do think Colombia will go through. And then it's up to Poland or Japan, isn't it? It should be Poland because, you know, they're the better team. I don't think they should have been seeded, but they are the better team. And it's a, it's a World Cup in Eastern Europe because... Uh, a lot of their traveling fans. I know Russia is not very warming <laughs> to Polish Poles because of the whole history, but but then again, part of me just feels like Japan might do it. I don't know. I feel like because the, I really like their manager. I like what he did in the last World Cup with Algeria. Um, And Poland, in recent history, has not been doing very well in World Cups. They have not advanced out of the group stages of a World Cup in the modern era. And the last World Cup that was held in Europe was 2006 in Germany, which is neighboring Poland. And that proximity to home did not help Poland. They went out in the group stages. So why would this one be any different? Russia's even farther away from, from Poland than Germany is to Poland, because both Poland and Germany are bordering countries. Poland was eliminated before they even played their final match in 2006 in that group, I remember. And then the World Cup before that that was hosted in Europe was hosted in France, and Poland did not even qualify for that. So why should I believe it's going to be... Why should I believe that playing in Europe is going to be a big difference maker for Poland? when it hasn't been a big difference maker in the last two tournaments. Having said that, this is a better Poland team than those two other teams. And But the thing is, for Japan, since 1998, Japan has advanced past the group stages of every other World Cup. So it was, did not advance, advance, did not advance, advance, did not advance. They did not advance in 2014. I'm sticking with my bold pick. I'm, I'm going to say Japan. So I think maybe as of now, I have I don't have Poland coming through. I think they're going to be one of the, uh, maybe the only seeded team who doesn't go through. I'm going with Colombia and Japan in that order to, to advance. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe. Hopefully I see you either later today or tomorrow, God willing. Till then, have a good one. Leave a comment below who's coming out of this group. 
what are your individual match predictions. Hopefully, I see you in the next video. Until then, peace.